everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Amy Rose from Jack Specific. Let's get to it. Here's Amy Rose. Really, really nice figure here. Nice looking figure we got. The head looks really good. She has this really nice colored pink right here. Good tone. There's a little bit of smudge right over here. Something, whatever that is. Trying to get it off kind of just scratches the plastic a little bit. Actually kind of ruins it, which is... Disappointing to me. That's that's kind of a shame. The plastic is so... It's a very gummy plastic that doesn't really take to being scratched. So I'll take what I can get. The face looks really nice, though. We have some good paint on the eyes. With some good lighting on there. Highlights. The eyelashes look really good over here. The bandana thing looks really nice. This little headband right here. Her mouth looks good, too. Little tongue right there on the inside of the mouth. That's good. The skin tone looks very nice, similar to Sonic. She also has this sort of, it isn't really that rubbery, sort of like skirt piece right over here. But, you know, it could withstand, you know, falling or whatever. You know, it would withstand getting, taking a fall, which is nice. She has some good paint on these little wrist gauntlet things. They're little rings. I wonder if she wears them to attract Sonic or something. He knows he likes rings, probably. We have a fist hand over here. That's pretty good. We also have a holding hand for her hammer over here. Keep in mind, if you don't take it out too often, it will get attached and stuck right there. It's kind of a shame. Her legs are pink, the same as her head. She also has these huge shoes. And I don't know if I'm a fan or not. They're really, really big shoes. I don't get it. It doesn't make much sense. They're, almost clown They're very clown shoe-like. Because it's kind of a shame. She has the same kind of gray on the, back, on the bottom of her feet right over here. A little white trim on her skirt. She looks very nice, very accurate to the game. Going over her hammer, she it's really nice. A little bit of brown, a little bit of uh, yellow, some white, red, a little more yellow over here. Different color yellows though, so this is more of a similar to yellow to her little wrist gauntlet things. So it's easy, you just put it in your hand and that's it. It stays in there pretty well. You can give it a little twirl. I'm gonna twirl it around. And yeah, that's basically it for Amy's paint. Now let's go to articulation. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Like I've shown before, you can twirl the hammer in her hand. So set that aside. Her head moves a little bit around. It's hindered by this back piece of hair right over here. And that's kind of a shame. I also didn't notice that the back of her... Huh. It's like this kind of like pink color. wonder why. I don't know. It's like a backpack or something. Maybe something that can get painted right. But it's pink back here. Just noting that. For some weird reason. The head moves around. Hindered by the hair. The arms go up. Hindered by the head. Goes around. You can turn around really well. The hands, same as always. Pivot. And then pivot. All the way around. The fingers don't move or anything, as usual. The legs are interesting. They can go out, this far, down. This is the best articulation I think we've gotten from these figures. And I wish they'd do this more often with the characters. Just make it like this kind of leg instead of the other one. Have the pins go in on the side instead of on the bottoms. That would really help with articulation a lot. It's the articulation kind of covered by the skirt a little bit. There's a separate little ball piece for the uh, sort of crotch area here. This is kind of weird going over this, but she also has a little tail right over here. It's pink. And yeah, fairy bundies, whatever. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I like this articulation scheme a lot. The leg goes this far back, 90 degrees, barely even. Not really that great. Uh, it swivels at the boot. It's also, I think, it, I think it pivots a little bit too. Very, very barely. It is a ball joint down there. It's just it swivels though. And I don't think you want to swivel it too much because it might hurt the foot. So I like keeping the feet facing forward or at a tiny bit of an angle out. They look pretty nice at least. Yeah, um, Amy's a good figure. Oh, two pegos upon the feet. Amy's a good figure. I don't think she's my favorite, but she's a member of the core team and works really well with the other characters. She looks great, and I'm glad to add her to the collection. Also, you might want to check the boots, because they're going to have a lot of paint issues. Just find one with good, good boots and good face, and 
You're good to go. Yeah, that's Amy. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. When we hit 700 subs, we're going to be playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles in Knuckles mode. Don't miss my fight against Mecha Sonic, and we'll see you there. Amy stands about 4 inches tall to the tuft of her head. Here's Amy next to Classic Sonic, who's roughly the same size, and Jesse Heck Creative. Hey, can we trade back? I don't even need a hammer. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!